Hello, Happy New Year, and welcome to your meditation practice as part of the Open Heart Project. My name is Susan Piver. I'm delighted to give you meditation instruction, and we're going to sit together today for 10 minutes, and we're going to start momentarily. So please take your seat and get settled, whether you're on a cushion on the floor with your legs crossed loosely in front of you, or in a chair, which is equally as spiritual, by the way, as sitting on the floor. And if you are in a chair, please sit with your feet flat on the floor. And as we get started, I just want to offer you a few thoughts on the notion of simplicity. This year in the Open Heart Project, each month will have a theme. And this month, that theme is simplicity, which is a really good way to start the new year. Um, so the first thing to apply the notion of simplicity to is your practice, the practice we're about to do. And if you've never meditated before, don't worry, this will all make sense in a moment. So you may be tempted when you meditate to change the technique a little bit, like, I don't want to put my hands here, I want to put my hands here, or I don't want to sit with my eyes open because this is an eyes open practice, I want to sit with my eyes closed, or I'm just sitting here doing nothing so I might as well think of my to-do list for the day. We don't want to add anything to the practice. We don't want to take anything away from the practice. It is very simple, very direct, and uh, very profound. So the first thing to be simple about is your practice and your cat. The next thing I want to invite you to apply simplicity to, if that's even a way of saying it, is the notion that we're sitting to meditate in order to become good meditators. No, that is not why we're practicing. It doesn't matter if you become the world's preeminent follower of the breath. That is not a fabulous accomplishment. So we can immediately let go of any notion of wanting to do this right. That's, a, that's painful. As long as at any point you apply the technique of taking the posture, placing attention on breath, and allowing your thoughts to be as they are, there's no way you can do this wrong. No way. Interestingly, there is no way that you can do this right, so you can relax. So just remember, we're not practicing meditation to become good at meditation. We're practicing meditation to become good at being ourselves. This is the real benefit of the practice. It generates courage, confidence, and authenticity. Don't take my word for this. Practice yourself and see what happens for you. And the last thing I guess I'll say is, I want to share with you a quote from the poet Rumi, I think a 13th century Persian poet, who said as part of one of his works, out beyond ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. This practice takes place in that field. And one of the most wonderful and powerful ways to bring the notion of simplicity into your life is to let go of self-judgment and the harsh drive to always do everything right and to be terrified of doing anything wrong. Who would you be if you could let that go? The idea that you have to be perfect or do things well and that to do things poorly would be a horrible shame. Who would you be if you weren't judging yourself every moment? I invite you to contemplate that question as we explore the principle of simplicity. The simplest thing you can do is just be who you are and let go of the judgment of who that person is. So I'll leave it at that and let's practice. So in your practice, there are three things to be mindful of. And the first is of your own body. The practice begins when you take your seat. And the basic idea is to sit up straight. Simply taking this good uplifted posture connects you to your own inherent dignity. Nothing to be ashamed of. The hands rest, palms down, just above the knees just resting, not 
supporting you or propping you, just relax. And while the back is straight and strong, the front body can soften. So let your belly relax, your heart and lungs, and your shoulders. The chin is tucked a little bit, so the back of the neck is long. And the mouth is closed, because you don't have to talk, which is awesome. The lips and teeth, however, are slightly parted, which helps the jaw to relax. The breath is natural in and out through the nose. You are already breathing anyway, so just keep doing that. No need to embellish that. And in our practice, the eyes remain open because this is a practice of wakefulness. And it's hard to be awake when your eyes are closed. So the eyes are open and the gaze is cast down to a spot a few feet in front. And just let your gaze rest. Our eyes dart around. So much to take in in every day. But in this practice, you can just let them rest on a particular spot. So the eyes should feel very soft. And the crown of the head reaches up a little bit. And feel yourself in this good posture. The next thing to be mindful of is your breath. This doesn't mean observing your breath, which kind of implies stepping out and looking back. This means feel your breath. Feel the gentle expansion of the inhale and the release on the exhale. This is being with your breath rather than observing it. So feel the inhale, the exhale, and notice how the next inhale just happens, I promise. Zero effort is required. And begin again to come in and flow out with the breath. The third thing to be mindful of is your mind. So your mind will continue to make thoughts, which is awesome, because that's what it does. And we don't try to stop thinking or change thinking in any way, shape, or form. Rather, allow your thoughts to be as they are. Imagine that they're like children playing in the uh, apartment next door or, or out on the street. You can kind of hear them, but you're not really paying attention to them. They're just ambient. Most of your thoughts will come and go without really distracting you from your breath. But at some point, you may notice that you have become distracted by thought to the point where you've forgotten about breath. No problem. Actually, awesome, because you just woke up and saw where you were, and now you have choices. So when you notice this, simply let go of that thought or those thoughts whether they're important or trivial or violent or beautiful or dull, irrelevant, just let go. <sighs> Say to yourself silently, thinking. Oh, I'm thinking. Bring your attention back to the breath. And now you have a clean slate. Take a fresh start, feeling the inhale and the exhale. And should it happen again, no problem. Thinking. This is for when you're completely distracted, like you've forgotten about your breath. Thinking. Let go. Gently come back and take a fresh start. This is our practice, and we'll sit together.
Thank you so much for your practice.